In today's video, it's a continuation of the Force install, so let's get into it. Okay, third day at Steam Solar. Sorry, we couldn't start from the beginning. They're running into some problems. So you can see we have conduit in the ground. We have it wired up. Careful. So we have the wires nicely zip tied up. We have our, what do they call this thing here? Service. I don't know. I just call it like a big turtle shell. As you can see, these are made, ready to be plugged into this array. So we can see on this one, it's grounded out into the ground. We have our bonding between the panels. All right, let's go look around this one. We have this one ground too. So do the wires. We have this going this way, going down, and grounded right there. And we have these bonded as well. Oh, the pipe. So, you see, we have that one. I see. Okay, so they are. And. Let's go now to those two homes, or tiny homes, if you want to call it. So, here you see the conduits ran all the way. All the way down. I'm trying to keep this camera steady here as I'm walking. The terrain is very bad. I don't want to twist my ankles, so I'm just taking my time. But conduits run all the way down. <clears throat> we make our turn here. So here's where we are left. So my job is to get my angles get under the house and get it in okay end of day three as you can see conduits are in the ground buried they're all wired up got our connections goes down into the ground we got our connections over here same thing going to the ground so when I tested it this is about a hundred I think 105 volts of this array and I believe the same thing on this one when I hooked up my meter this one was about 105 so they're both going in at a parallel at 105 and I believe 25 amps so that should be plenty for this client's small little solar generator that should be coming in on the 18th. So once that comes in, we will wire it into the house. So let me just take you on the path here. As you can see all the stuff is buried that was exposed here. So everything is buried under the ground. So the conduit goes right through here. All the way down. Along this path. <clears throat> all the way on these, how many these rocks? Underneath the house. Underneath the house there. 
and then it comes up right through here on this conduit and it goes inside. So the PB wires are configured and sitting in there. And we temporarily ran it inside right there till the wires come. And then the solar charge, solar generator comes, it'll be right here. And then we will get an electrician to wire into the panel, but that's around on the 18th. So that's where we are. We've completed this part on day three and we'll be back on the 18th. So Sleem Solar signing off. All right, Sleem Solar, last day on the job. The panels are all up. We've connected them. As you can see here, we have a service relief. I forgot what they call these things, but you can see we siliconed it. We put a box here if we had to get to the wires where there's a, um, a connection that we can troubleshoot. And you can see it's zip tied. We are grounded. And we are grounded here, all the way down to the ground. As you can see right there. We're bolted in. These are 10 inch bolts that go all the way down. We have a fuse here. That's 20 amp inline fuse to make sure that if something happens, we can uh, troubleshoot or replace the fuse. All right, so now we're on the second array, looking at the second array. Same thing over here with inline fuse. These are 10 inch, so they go all the way down into the post. And this is treated lumber. We got some brackets here to hold this up. And again, this is grounded down into drove down 10 feet down into the ground and we have this bracket here that stabilizes the structure so it's not moving these posts are down I believe 40 inches into the ground so here we have it zip tied we have our connection we put extra just in case we have to move or do anything we have some extra you know so we have another service relief and this is siliconed in there you know we do have some folks that make comments what i call keyboard warriors before they see the actual job completed uh, making claims but you know you got to wait till you see the finished product. Then you can make your assessment. But until then, you just got to zip it and just wait to see how it's done. Uh, if you have better options or better suggestions, by all means, you can leave them in the comment. But please don't leave nasty comments, negative comments. You know, everybody's here to learn, including myself. So, as you can see, both arrays. And if the customer needs more panels, we can put, I can extend that and put two more on this array and two more in this array. And I think that's what the unit calls for. So the inverter device. So as you can see, everything is buried. 
from the ground you know before we had put the conduits in and everything we did dig it out deeper so we could put it in there because i guess the guy who did it uh i guess it rained and some of the stuff got washed back in there but it's all done so now i'll take you to look at the inverter i know we don't have good lighting here but i wanted to show you the inverter device what they call a wall well equivalent to a walrus so right now the panels are kind of being shaded but it's being charged and it's wired into the electrical panel through there the PV wires come in from there and gets connected right there so right now we have some shade, like I said, so it's pulling in something. But right now you can see the amperage from the solar coming in. How much percent on the battery, the voltage, and the load. As you can see, it's charging from the solar panels and it's inverting. So right now... The house is running off grid and the owner has the ability to go in back and forth from the grid and there it is well another successful job done by slim solar Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And until, until next time, take care.